Bugs are probably the most common problems programmers run into. Especially as your code gets larger and more complicated, it's almost impossible to write bug-free code from the first time. Luckily, IntelliJ has this amazing feature called debugging. Remember those side tables that we used to draw when we were tracing our code in earlier lessons? Well, IntelliJ allows you to do the same thing by peeking into values of any variable in your code while it's running. And if your code has any bug in it, this would make your job finding that bug a lot easier. Let's have a quick look at one of the very early programs that we wrote together in lesson one. This code here updates and keeps track of the variables fair and stops. If we simply run this program as usual, the computer would run through all these statements here one by one quickly, and once it gets to the print line statements, it will display the output over here which is 3 and 15 in this case. But the really cool feature of debugging in IntelliJ allows you to stop inside the program at any point and move step by step. To do that, the first step is to add something called a breakpoint by clicking on the beginning of a line here. This will add this red circle over here, meaning that when we run this program now, it would pose at this line and wait for us to tell us what to do next. Once you have a breakpoint, Instead of running your program as usual, you would go ahead and click this bug icon up there. This would run the program in debug mode. Once you click it, your code would run as normal, and once it sees this breakpoint, it would stop right before it runs this instruction here. In debug mode, you can do things like hover over a variable to see the value inside it. It also usually appears on the right-hand side here once the variable changes, and it also points out any change in any of the variables down there. Now, since it's been pausing at this line here, the next thing you can do is click on this button down there called Step Over. This allows you to run this instruction here and move on to the next one. So if we click Step Over, we can see that our stops variable changed from 0 to 1, and now our fair variable is still 0, waiting for this instruction to happen as well. So if we click another step over that, our fair variable changes from 0 to 5. Another thing you can do is to skip through some steps by adding another breakpoint somewhere else in the code. And then instead of stepping through every single step, you could click this Resume button over there that would just jump to the next breakpoint it finds. Another really cool thing you can do in debugging is the Step Into icon here. This allows you to step inside a function while debugging another function. Say I have this multiply function up here, where inside I call this other function add, which is implemented up there. Now if I put a breaking point here and then run it in debug mode, it will pose right before it calls this add function. If I use the step over icon, then it will just run this add function altogether and then move on. However, if I try this step into, it would actually go inside the add function and show what's happening in there as well. And then if I'm happy with that and I don't want to go through every single step in that function, I could just jump to the step out icon, which would return me to the calling function. Debugging can be both fun and challenging at the same time. It's what programmers spend most of their time doing when their code doesn't work properly. But knowing how to use those powerful debugging features in IntelliJ should make debugging any code a lot easier.